All right, so here we are in uh, central Phoenix, downtown Phoenix, Arizona, in the FQ historical neighborhood. And this is Portland Avenue, and this is 11th Avenue going north. You can see that's going west towards California, and this right here is going south towards the South Mountain. And that's a house we completed about four years ago, sanitary finish. That one four and a half years ago, sanded and refinished. And today we are working on this beautiful duplex here. It's probably built in the 1930s. Nice little uh, location to be. Downtown Phoenix just wonderful. It's up and coming. It's not going anywhere. A lot of new condos, a lot of new restaurants going up downtown. So if you ever come downtown Phoenix looking for a nice property, let me know. I got a lot of real estate agents who'll be able to help you. So here we are, we're going to be sanding and refinishing this floor. Actually, this one's going to be buffed and recoated since it's a plywood that was sanded and stained, who knows, for 30, 20, 30 years ago, homeowner said. That's why you see the lines. There was carpet, padding, glue down. That'll come out once we buff and recoat it here. The wood floors will be sanding and refinishing. But this, this will get buffed and recoated as with the hallway. And you can see it's a beautiful fireplace, middle of the room, typical for the historical homes and we do have the cold ceilings or we could call them barrel ceilings and this is the wood floor that has been sanded everything and you can see before and after we still have to get in there with the edger and this is the wood floor that we use and this is a oak floor we'll be using a white oak wood filling everything As you can see it will turn out amazing well the sun is beating on it so let's see if we can get a better angle from here and you can see the wood filler covers up pretty much the gaps in here we'll do an after video this is what i love about these old historical homes these arches the arches let's go check out this little kitchen very uh very little it's a one bedroom, two bedroom house. So back in the days, kitchen was not a priority to be big, just to cook and uh, pretty much that's it. Cook. And you can see, look at this, beautiful. Or we doing cabinets from the 1930s. They don't make them like they used to, huh? Nice, solid, and beautiful little sink here. Don't let this fool you. This is an actual very nice barn sink from the 1930s. Problem is, it just needs to be recoded. And I don't do recording of sinks, but I do recording of wood floors. And water heater, not a cool place. I would have probably moved it in outside of my house. So, oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, oh, this used to be the ironing board. So they don't use it as an ironing board. They repurposed it into a cabinet for pantry cabinets. So as you can see, we have to put a reducer here. Custom built that. This is the original pine in here. This will be sanded and finished also. And this is normal for the older homes where they have the gas heater in the floor. Uh, the homeowner did make a hole here. He used the other side of the duplex for storage, so this will be his office. And that's how wood floor looks after it's uh, sanded before. After. I still probably have to do one more coat. The different color here, uh, this is another little bedroom, they're pretty much about 80 square feet these uh, old homes. <laughs> That's about normal size for all the homes. So this is a pine floor. That's the reason you see the difference in uh, grain. And that's before the pine floor. Before pretty rough and that's after. I wait till we put the finish on it. Pine floor looks amazing. I mean it just turns out wonderful. It has a thick red cherish color. There it is, that's a pine floor also. You can see the difference between white oak and pine. And not just the size, that's two and a quarter. It's about five. It's also the grain of the wood. The nails coming out since it's so old. The nails are starting to come loose and pop. We'll pop them back in. This has been done with the sand. Just gotta get the edges for the edges. You can see it was pretty rough. 
condition. Not to worry. We'll make it right. Give us a call. 602-446-2613. Or you can find us online at www.royalwoodflooring.com and we'll be more than happy to help you with all your wood flooring needs from sanding, refinishing to staining to recoating to pretty much any kind of flooring installation you have, vinyl, tile, wood. We're more than happy to help you. Let's go ahead and do a little video of this old 1930s bathroom, huh? Huh? It's pretty normal for a home this old, a yellow tile. I'm thinking that's about 60s maybe. And they did have a problem on and off false switch, so they replaced it and they couldn't find the tile, so that's why you see different tile in a lot of the older bathrooms. Hey everybody. Uh, oh boy, I would just suggest now that's not a tank. You cannot really see it. This is a beastie tank. So I'm guessing like two, three gallons of water there. I will definitely replace it. Definitely not efficient, but hey, it's not my house. Check that out. Huh? Now that is different. I'm not sure what that is, but it's pretty old and abused, which is fine. But that has nothing to do with us. So I don't even know why I made, put that on the video, but I did. So you could all succeed. Yep. Typical gas heater from the 60s. And looks like they have a closet here. And that's a pretty much about it. It's just a little duplex. We'll make a follow up video as soon as we're done. And then you'll be amazed at the transformation this closet will have. It's just unbeatable. Unbeatable. So hopefully you enjoyed our videos and stay tuned for the next uh, video. Today is Monday, July. No, today is August 10th. Oh, that's great. August 10th. So that means we should have this done probably within the next two to three days. That's beautiful palm trees, baby blue skies, white puffy clouds. This is why we love Arizona. Yeah, sure, it gets a little hot, but hey, that's fine. We'll deal with the heat for two, three months, maybe four and then we'll have paradise weather meaning what no snow no blizzards no rainy you know dark days just baby blue skies oh wait a minute this is i guess a geico with a hat is that a sombrero i don't know no no it's not never mind looks like an artist painted this thing looks like a lizard pretty big lizard huh I just love the way the sun beats through the leaves. You can see a little bit of the sun and a little bit of the art piece that somebody decided to put on here. Let's go ahead and take a look, see if there's any more. And that right there is I-10. As you can see, that's why it's, uh, it's closed off. Actually, you can make a left, but that's uh, I-10 right there. Oh, look at this. Well, let me take a quick video of this real quick because I think this is just beautiful. Look at that. Looks like chicken claws. Look at that. I think an artist made this. Oh yeah, an artist did do that. Let's go ahead and focus on our... Wow. Wow, that is a nice art piece. Hopefully I have enough video to... Video the whole... The whole piece. Look at that. I think that's the rock, maybe. I'm not too familiar with the uh, cartoons it looks like it's some kind of a cartoon character or comic comic book character oh well duh let me guess fantastic four could it be could it be fantastic four ah uh, yep that's definitely what it can be so that must be fantastic one fantastic two well actually, i don't know because it says four on there and then 